All right, so I am going to try to start up my car because it doesn't really work. We're gonna try to start this thing up so I can get it moving. I have big plans for this car. I'm really excited about it. I know I've been hitting around a couple times in the vlogs, like what should we do to this car? How should we destroy it? Well, I think I figured it out. So there's um, there's something, there's two ways I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how we're gonna do it, but one of them might be just a vlog that we're just gonna do it in. But if things go the way I want them to, they're actually gonna be part of a one of my films videos that is coming up. Um, probably release date, say mid late May, maybe even first of June. Maybe, yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna do something cool with this car. Um, even if it does start today, I haven't opened this thing up in like two, three months, so I can only imagine what it's gonna be like in here. So, yes, I wanna blow up my car, I wanna do something cool with it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I'm gonna do that pretty soon, but I'm not sure yet. But right now, we're gonna to try to get this car started because I'm pretty sure it's just the battery instead of the alternator. If I can get this car started, that'll be awesome because then I can drive it somewhere and have it exploded or blown up versus having it towed. So yeah, I'm not gonna give it away. Don't even ask. It smells new to me. I should clean this car out. Okay, so I guess I'll say this. Okay, so the, it's not that it it just doesn't work. It's got a, it has a brand new, well not, okay, not a brand, it's got a used transmission, but the transmission only has like 60,000 miles on it. The car has 182,000 miles on it. So it really only needs some minor maintenance, but I'm, I don't wanna put the time in it. So here's the deal. If you want this car, okay, if you want this Dodge Neon, it's a 2002, I'll show you it. It's nice. It's flawless. No, actually, seriously, the body has no problems with it. And the interiors, whatever. But, yeah, I don't know. If you want it, comment below and uh, name a price. But I really think I'm just gonna destroy this car in one of my videos, because I think it'd be better. So if you wanna see this car sold or destroyed, comment below. This car has been through so much crap, it's insane. It's been through a flood, link is below, right here on the screen. Check out the video where it's in a flood. It survived a flood, it stalls out constantly. I don't know, it's actually been through a lot of crap and this thing just keeps going. Most of mechanical stuff, like it just shuts off. The transmission exploded, blew up on the bottom. Okay, I replaced the transmission. This car has been through so much stuff and it's still going. I'm surprised this thing even started. I really don't like putting these things Jumper cables. They scare the poop out of me. So that pipe right there was laying in here. Yeah, they probably used it to prop it up for some reason or something. Hold the f up. You're telling me this mechanic that worked on my wife's car just thought leaves his sh in the engine? Don't you know they can flop around and destroy stuff? I want to know who this mechanic was. I want to know who worked on my wife's car the last time it happened. Because I'm going to go in there, I'm going to take this pole and I'm going to shove it up there. Be a little bit more responsible. Maybe this mechanic was like, hey, you know what? I don't like my job today and I'm going to eat my cheeseburger and work on this car. And then I'm just going to throw the bar in there. What is the weirdest thing you found in your engine? I'm sure a lot of you guys have a story. Comment below. What's the weirdest thing you found in your engine or your car after a mechanic had seen it? All right. Let's try to start this bad boy up. I really hope it starts so I can take it down the road. Let's find out. Here we go. Gotta wait for a second. It's not working. It's not working. Come on, baby. Let it go a little more. This car is a piece of I'm not gonna worry about it. We're gonna destroy it. It's gonna be fun. It's running. I hear the engine knocking like crazy. I think it's because the oil wasn't in it. Oh, it started. Hey! So the true test now 
is when we take these things off to see if it still runs, which I don't know if it will. I'm not pushing it back, just so you know, if you decide to take it for a ride. It's a monster car. <laughs> my car smells like a skunk, and I wonder if a skunk has made itself a home with its litter up in my car. It smell, dude. That's. I really think there's a. I really think there's a skunk that lived up in my car somewhere, and it's sprayed right now. It would have come out, maybe. No, sprayed. it hears us. Yeah, if I get in the car and a skunk like jumps on my head, I will laugh. <laughs> No, stay out here in case it happens. I swear, if there are skunks sleeping up underneath this car, when I get in the car and a skunk jumps out and puts it just right in my face and goes Pfft, that's gonna be disgusting. So we're just gonna keep recording this because I'm pretty sure there's skunks in my car. We're gonna try driving this thing up the road. Hopefully it doesn't stall. I will say this, that this car does perform pretty well. Let's get some light in here. Um, even though this thing, this thing like survived like everything. So, and it, it sure does have like, a lot of power in it. Especially in second gear, when you hit like second gear, it like, bada bing, bada booms. Well, the good news is, when I go to destroy this car, I can actually drive it to this to the site, the location that we're gonna destroy it. So, it just needs a jump, I'll drive it to the location, and we'll, we're gonna blow it up. Okay, so there was no skunks in my car, and this car was a beast. Took it up the road, it drove perfect. I don't know what the problem was, but I don't care. We're still gonna destroy this thing. Let's go, it's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to tell you how we're gonna blow this up, but I got some big plans. It's gonna be super cool, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, click the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna see this.